now an opportunity for the Cats. They've got three players. One of them's Cranston. Will the kick get there? Cox came across. Cranston will follow up. Rocky Cranston. Can she create something? Of course she can. I've always loved footy. I always had a footy in my hand when I was younger. My family is all from New Zealand, so we're a rugby background, so it wasn't exactly like Mum took me down to Auskick or anything. I think Mum was appalled that I had a football in my hand rather than a rugby ball, but um, she's come around. She loves it now. Was living in Maryborough, small country town, knew that there was a women's footy team in Ballarat, so I actually moved to Ballarat to pursue playing footy. It was socially, it wasn't exactly serious, but something I really loved doing. And I got a taste for it in year 12. We played an um, equal opportunity day where the boys played netball and the girls played footy, and I loved it. The leaper in the pack there was Phoebe McWilliams. Charging through his Cranston, throws it on the boot. Rocky delivers. If it wasn't for football, my life would have ended up very differently. The opportunities it's given me, the friendships it's given me, I was overweight and then the opportunity to play at FLW was there I knew it was coming and that was my flick of the switch and I went into I want to be fit enough lost 30 kilos got my passion for gym bought a gym um, and now I just feel like my life is it's not real because my job is something I love doesn't feel like a job at all football doesn't feel like a job I think I've ticked some really important boxes and I think it's made me mentally stronger, physically stronger. Um, yeah, so <laughs> yes, <laughs> it has definitely changed my life. Most of us would have been trolled. We always have some keyboard warriors attacking us and telling us to get back in the kitchen or I have personally got trolled a lot for more for the way I look. I'm very much me and I don't really care about... I've got a lot of tattoos, I had, had dreadlocks. I'm probably a bit bigger than most, but the thing is you'll see lots of positive comments and you'll only remember the one negative one. I sometimes think, well, don't you guys have mums or sisters or anything? Like, what would you think? What would your grandma think if they saw you saying that? So I always try to think if, if I'm writing something or if I'm saying something, what would grandma think if I said that? So try and make it as positive as possible. So I just don't have time for those kind of people. I think social media is a bit of a trap that it does give the perception of women looking a certain way and fitness models and stuff like that that aren't always being that truthful. Um, I think AFLW gives you a very real sense of women. We've got lots of different shapes, lots of different sizes, lots of different characters and a lot of people just being who they are and good at it. So I really like the fact that AFLW gives that for young girls. I see it as a bit of a trap for body image and creating this perception of what a woman or a man should be. I still struggle with my body image. Um, I've definitely gotten a lot better over the years and I've also thought about it in a perspective of young girls coming through and being a role model for them. I know when I was younger, I really didn't have that many female athlete role models. I always looked like Kathy Freeman and stuff like that, but I didn't really have any strong athletic built women. Um, I think there's always this women are meant to be small and petite and I always thought I had to be that and I've never been that. Um, but I think I have to think about what my body can do. I'm very strong and powerful, but I know there's always that pressure to look a certain way. Um, but I think about more what my body can do on the footy field and in the gym and stuff like that. So it's a challenge, it always is. We're gonna go down to mid shin and we're just gonna do five snatch grip deadlifts. So we're standing all the way up. I struggle with negative self-talk. That has been a massive one for me. Um, it used to be really bad. I did have a teammate once tell me though, how do you think that makes us feel when you talk about yourself that way? And I was like, oh, so I've never really thought of it, how it affects people around me. So now knowing that it's, made me change the way I talk and it doesn't always work sometimes I'm negative but I just keep it in my head but yeah I've almost got a little angel and a little devil and they're fighting against each other I'm sure everyone has that but I try to talk to myself how I would talk to my friends because if I spoke to my friends the way I talk to myself I'd have no friends what would I say to my younger self oh I've gotten asked this question a lot actually and I've I really don't know I just wish I had someone who was like me, because um, I was very different back then.
but I guess I'd tell my younger self that it will be okay. Um, you'll find your people, you'll find happiness, um, and you're not, you're not weird. <laughs> you are not a weirdo. <laughs> it's slapped clear, still they go, the toe by Cranston!